Tonight, a special presentation of Rescue 77. It was supposed to be the happiest day in their life. We got two people trapped. Now, three unsung heroes. I am going to get you out of here, but I need your help. Who bring hope to their families. You have to let him know that he's not alone. And their future. Oh, my God. Oh, really? And now, an all-new Rescue 77. You're gonna hurt somebody. You left your clothes in the wash. You used my toothpaste. Rematch. Rescue 77, persons leaving 382 Laurel Terrace across the balance of apartment 4, timeout 1325. <laughs> In here. You got halfway through the coffee table with a star kicked back on you. Oh. Stupid bitch, blood bar troll. Just slept with that train. Of course, I knew. Ah, oh, there's a trail of strip bags in the kitchen with a bed. Guys, this is time. Uh, possible trauma to the femur, uh, possibly one liter blood loss. Yeah, well, I only did to get back at you. Besides, I've got a year's supply for free. Sir, you're going to have to lie still, okay? And you're going to have to back up, please. Thanks. Hey. One, two, three. One, two, three. You're going to lose it? The doctors do everything they can. You're crazy. It's the way of the world. You want to run to the hospital? Yeah. Anyone we know? It's the 41. We got this new phone music. It's awesome. It's the good one. It's the real. <laughs> <laughs> you take his way out of the station, but you can't take the station out of the boy. Mm. My cousin has a seven of them. They say, I need to take the chair off and ride down the mountain. That's fun. We could leave after she's on phone. We can finally spend two whole days together. Yeah, that really sounds great. I sleep Sunday. Can we exchange some time for Sky 119? Just, just let me check the schedule. I'll call you later. I'm just saying that's the last 
time I tried to put out a campfire with my own equipment. Uh, maybe you needed a bigger hose. <laughs> More oh. air. Hey, careful. Let me put field sex on the rat. Can I be harassed by a unit? Mm-hmm. I don't mind talking about sex. It's just there are other things to talk about besides sex. What? You know, it's Jeanette, all right? Evolution requires that I have a sexual thought every 80 seconds, and I have to seek most important throughout my lifetime. Uh, that is one there. It doesn't work. Poor Lobo. Check him out. He's sitting here. All this DNA. This pressure pack dying to get out. That was like a job for a professor. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try a dating service? I don't think so. So, Lobo, how long have you been sober? About six weeks. Oh! The problem is trying to figure out what women want. Yeah. Oh, kind of mustard. The problem is, is that men and women have different sexual needs. No, that's bull. Me and my girlfriends want it as much as men do. Oh, well then maybe you want to introduce me. Maybe I want to keep my friends. <laughs> you know, like you could do what most men do is take the situation into your own hands. You know, when they still respect me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it on the run, boys and girls. I just put all place for down. They were rehearsing all of a sudden. They started fighting about the bill and about the act. Eddie says the union was a mistake. Who has any change? Still to down the union. Who says Eddie still has no power? You got a key? Uh, no. All right, we'll go for the door. Ah, somebody's having a little cook out here. Ah, oh, the dummy. I got knocked out. Yeah, really, I want the other response for it. Focus, John. Nose and throat are clear. Trouble with the act? The portion? Use a little too much gas. Uh, we're gonna need a backboard. Okay, Eddie, we're gonna get you to the hospital. Make sure everything's okay. Should have turned the SOB into a coffee table. No, no, we're seeing how I do. Always about him, you know. Never me. Move. Never Eddie. Twenty thirty-six. This could be considered a case of dummy side. You got yourself adhesive gauze, tongue depressors, triangle bandages. Maybe the house by myself for the weekend. He says I'm going away. Just figured if you're going to stay at Megan's again, man, maybe I could get a little something, something. Last year you got a little something, something from you had to inflate. Hey, man, I got the hostess from Ray Calendar's primed and ready. All right, she's just a little bit shy. If you're there, she's going to throw a name at it. Are we done here? Almost. Hey, man. You see what they say about nurses? I'm not even having this conversation. Might be outside the pattern. Okay. Bell curve. Four dates, right? Four dates, you usually slept with her. You're giving me the postcodal highlights. Five and six, you're looking for something wrong. Seven and eight, you're breaking up. That's not true. Okay, let's see who is there. There's, uh, there's Betty. And then there was, uh, Lisa. And then, uh, uh, What's who's the, the girl with the lift? Susan. Yeah, that's two months, right? Her cat's hated me. That's what Megan develops in the morning. Why is that? I don't want to find another place to live. Dr. Michael. Hey. Hi. Hey. Good to see you. So it looks like Mr. Universe has a pretty good chance of keeping his life. Oh, good. He's didn't say they like to go dancing. Listen, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's very special thing planned with the donut, but <laughs> uh, so this weekend. No, I haven't had a chance. To. It's okay. It's cool because my cousin maybe is in the captain after all, so I'm going to find out tonight. So we'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> I 
left 477, traffic collision for the track, Riverside, Overpass, and Lake. Time out, 1539. Got the chrono box? Yeah. I got the truck truck. Get the gun. Gun. Right. I have to ask you to move it back. Hey, step back, please. I need to go. We got one! We got two! Something tells me not here to take my order. Oh, the driver. LA Engine 77. Got an extended incident. Semi trailer, single car accident. Three people involved. Two people trapped. One fatality. This will be Riverside incident. I will be IC. Request additional engines. RA transport and a USAW crane. Also, we're going to need a coroner unit. Riverside IC. Well, we got possible heading next to you. We got a rodeo coming up. Give the firefighters some space. Officer, come help me clear these people out of here. Let's go. Back it up. Charlie? Charlie, you are alive. He's unconscious. Okay. I'm Kathleen Ryan. What's your name? Fred. Fred Caraway. I can't move. Are you going to get us out of here? Soon as we can. You in any pain? Uh, no. That's good, huh? Yeah. You let me know if you start to hurt. Yo, can you grab me a sea collar? Ryan. Thanks. Hey, see, Captain. I'll keep Captain Tim. Won't be able to tell anything until we get the doors off. All right, let's let's pull these doors to the roof off. Okay, City Base Rescue Seven Seven. Patient one is male, twenty six, trapped from the waist down. Uh, respiratory rate is eighteen. Tidal volume normal. EP ninety eight over sixty. Heart rate one twenty. He's pale. Uh, oriented times four. Quick. Station 2 is female, age 23, uh, trapped in passenger seat, unconscious, respiratory 12 and shallow, unable to obtain pulse, pupils and bond, only to midpoint, possible cranial fracture. Copy that, 7-7. Um, establish airway, cease fine protection, start two large four IVs, TKO for patient number two, update any can. Rescue 7-7, copy. Cranial pressure start building, we're going to have to get her out of here right away. I'm Captain Durfee. We're going to cut this roof and pull this door out of here. We'll cover you with a blanket for your protection. Now, it may get a little noisy, but you'll be safe, okay? What the hell happened? Truck jack died. Drop the concrete on you. So, where are you going on your honeymoon? Fred? How are you doing? Oh, Maui. You got a room on the beach. I love the ocean. Let's get some cribbing on that high end and set up the airbag. Let's go. 
Okay, Fred. You want to wiggle your toes for me? How's that? That's just fine. All right, now I'm going to touch you on the leg, okay? You feel that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that. That's what I feel it. That, that means you're going to be okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, can you, can you hurry up, you know, because by the time I get to the reception, all the shrimp's going to be gone. Okay, look, um, I'm going to step over there for a second, talk to my partner. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, Bing, do you want to take over for a minute? City Base, Rescue 77, IVs established. Uh, patient 1 has an estimated 1 liter of blood loss at this time. Copy that, 77. I want to excuse full blood triage team is out on call. You'll have to get a sample and send someone to pick up on deck so we can cross time and look at it. Copy that. Uh, patient 1 is tamponaded by a large concrete beam resting above his pelvis. Copy that. Call the police if I look at the power. That concrete's the only thing holding him together. You know. What are they doing? Well, we're going to try to lift that end of the concrete with an airbag. Hold it up with those blocks. Are you going to pull it back? Yeah. Fred, we don't know the extent of your wife's injuries, but we'd like to try to trust her from you. See, you're stable in this, uh, the concrete with that is acting like a tourniquet. We're going to have to go slow with you. Cut it off a piece at a time. Okay? Oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, I almost didn't show up. Last night, I mean, I almost blew the whole thing off. Maybe I should listen to my instincts. Yeah, Kelly's the one who wanted to get married, and she couldn't wait. But, I mean, it's not like we had to. We've been living together for a while, and she thought it was time. You married? No. How come? The right guy has nothing? She's got blood pressure 100 over 60. She's unconscious, but she still responds to stimulus. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Okay, that's broken. We'll get a splint for you. Uh, Great, there goes my handicap. You play? I've been to the driving range a few times. I got a terrible flight. I tell you, he's going to learn, you know. We're going to play in Hawaii. But uh, I don't think she loves the game as much as she loves the last one. I'm 60 over 40. I got a widening pull. I'm going to have a ventilator in the bag. All right, we need a splint on his left forearm. All right. How's she doing? We got a chance to save her, but we got to get her out of there. Her BP is widening. And then? We get lucky. He gets lucky. Maybe. Need any help? Confusion, kid? With muscles. We're working on the blood. It's aping neck. It's going to take a little time. It's not great. They just got married. Yeah. It was too soon. Yeah. Just start out and boom, something happens. That's about Sunday. I'm going to work out. So, uh, I'll call you when we get to work. Okay. Be careful. Yeah. All right, listen, I'll let you know when her legs are clear. Take it easy because she's got head and neck injuries. 
L.A. Riverside, I see. Where is my train? Riverside, I see, L.A. The U.S. 52 ABC has gone out of service. The nearest reserve heavy train is one hour 45 minutes out. Riverside, I see. Do you copy ETA? Riverside, I see. Copy that. Okay, we're about ready to go, friends. We're going to fill that bag with air. And it's going to lift this side of the beam. We're going to get Kelly out first. And we'll take our time with you, okay? You come with us? I'm driving you. Oh, uh, the way my gates are going, maybe we should take the bus. I'll be extra careful. Yeah. Hey, the captain. Uh, He's ready to go with that? Hey, Captain, we're all set here. Let's do it. Rescue 7 7. We have a delay in transport. We'll notify. 7 7, copy your blood pressure pick up. Rescue 7 7. Now? Blood thing. Right, hang in there now. Yeah, like I can do something else. Hey, I thought you were going to get Kelly out. What went wrong? What the hell went wrong? It's going to take a little longer. We have to wait for a heavy train. No, maybe you guys can give me something to eat. I'll have that all day fresh. Mm -hmm. She's awake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, you've been in an accident, okay? It's going to be all right, all right? We're going to get you out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. Settle down now. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Kelly? Kelly? You want to let go? I won't. Now listen, you're going to get us out, okay? First you, then me. Look, it's going to be close, but maybe we can still make our plane. <laughs> what do you want to do on the first day? You want to you want to surf thing or play golf? It's <laughs> easy. Kelly? Kelly? City Base Rescue 777, seven, seven, request order for diazepam, patient two seizing. Kelly? Kelly? Somebody tell me what's going on. So we just got an update on the drive. She had a seizure. If they don't get her out of their face, they're not going to make it. First example, Bill Constant. Yeah, what's that? The universe is not your friend. Come on, you don't really believe that, do you? At our teacher in college? Yeah. I say Donald's like to retire, move to Paris and paint. First night he's there, gets hit by a truck. So maybe it was his time to go. I used to think that, you know. Everything has a reason, people have times. And I got this job. First thing you learn, there are no reasons, there is no plan. There's only chaos and the people are destroyed. Good, bad, all of us in one mind with blunder. So what? Is this the way of the world? My world. All right, what about hope? What's that? Hope. It's what keeps us going until chaos hits the puree switch. I mean, people need something to look forward to, though. I mean, how else do you explain babies and, and gardens and Santa Claus? And why would we even invent calendars and alarm clocks in the first place if we didn't have a hope for the future? It doesn't matter. Everything you build, everything you truly care about, eventually gets taken from you. Well, I guess I can live with that. You okay? I'm starting to hurt a little. Can you give me something? Uh, not until we get you to the hospital. Sorry, the math symptoms make it harder to know what's wrong. It's not my mother. They're working on it. And my dad was married three times. Mom twice. The three guys in the crew in the middle of nowhere. They stick her in the meat locker. My uncle tried to get a refund from the day she was there. Little models like that, it's a wonder I hadn't thought about getting married. But 
Fred, Fred, please. Fred, Fred. Fred, please. Fred, not Fred, please. Fred, please. Fred, look at me. Look at me. I am going to get you and Kelly out of here, but I need your help. I can't do it alone. You understand? Do you understand me? Let me put the oxygen on. Fred, there's a couple things I need to know from my report. Like what? Hey, I'm stuck. Hey, what else do you need to know? Where'd you meet Kelly? Do you need a free report? I'd like to know. 38, 34, sister, 9, 31, 28 year old male, psychiatric. Pick up three pints of county. How's she doing? BP is 96 over 62, blue and blood. Oh, that's a good one. Take a breath. Steve. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. Dr. Henniger. You Oh, you know, it comes and goes. I used to be a pediatrician. Yeah, here. When I had to get a shot, he'd do magic tricks to distract me. I never felt a thing. Can't you give me something? Protocol says no pain meds. Oh, for God's sake. Sir, please, stop that. You know what's going to happen. Doctor, I don't disagree with you. I don't have the authority. So we have to suffer to the end because of some protocol? Sir, if you'd like to take over the case, assume authority so you can administer five milligrams of morphine, I would have no objection. And then if you'd like to give it back to us, that'd be okay too. That is exactly what I'd like to do. City Base Rescue 77, seven, be advised. Dr. Yanniger is administering five milligrams of morphine, titrating for a sec. Two small respiration. This is not good. As soon as that crane gets here, we gotta go. Captain. Yeah. I'm starting to lose it. New order on the reserve heavy train? Still an hour out. You know, there's a crane at that construction site across from 77. No, it takes too long to get permission. I said we're asking. You know how to hot wire a crane? Yeah. I guess you could say I had the opportunity to test drive a couple of large vehicles. What are you waiting for? choice here. I want him to know what's going on. Yes, sir. How are you feeling, son? I'd like you to take over, please. 
City Base Rescue 77, Dr. Yoniger has returned the patient to us. Copy that, 77. You all right? Hey, you know, we got to stop meeting like this. Fred, hey, uh, any, any word on my mother? Not yet. Fred, come on, Ryan, talk to me. Okay? You got that breaking up hard to do look on your face. You have an injury that's called tamponade. Basically, this concrete is the only thing holding you together. And we're going to do everything we can. I'm going to die? If we had time, we could cut this block away, get Kelly out, and then take our time, try our best with you. But things have changed. The wife's condition has worsened. The longer we wait, the less chance Kelly has of surviving. She is too. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm sorry. The only way to save her is to lift this off with a crane, but that means it comes off you at the same time. I hold her hand. someone for you to talk to. Wait, this is the boy's mother. Are they all right? She's holding up. And Fred? Um, well, he's asking for you. Yeah. Well, he, he wants to say goodbye. They just told me that we were supposed to follow them to the hospital. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh! oh my God! Listen, you have to let him know that he's not alone, okay? <laughs> he sees you, and he sees all these people around him. He's going to be all right. Okay? Does he know? They don't think 
that I can. We need to say goodbye once. We need to say goodbye forever. Right, now, see, I never got a chance to say goodbye to my mom. And I'm sorry. Because I never got to tell her how much I loved her. <laughs> you can do this. Okay? You can do this. Thanks. 
Okay, Fred. You're in control. We're going to go on your signal. You tell me when. Is there anything else you want me to do? I think we need some tunes. Music? Yeah, I've got some tapes of drugs. Which one do you want? Some of you may not want to be this close to the operation, though. We will be transporting to St. Joe's if you'd like to meet us there. Thank you. But we've discussed it, and we're all set. Would everyone join hands? Can you be with us, son? Looks like we're ready. Hey, Ryan, do you believe in heaven? I believe something I read once. That everything we are and know and love and learn doesn't just disappear. It's like a river. It's got to go somewhere. Hope you're right. It's rock and roll. You stood by me, you never let me down.